It's a dirty job, and now Seattle is being sued for it. The city has hired so-called trash police to go through people's junk to make sure they're complying with its waste laws. But now, some are suing to keep trash collectors' hands out of their garbage. Correspondent Dan Springer sorts it all out for us from Seattle. When it comes to garbage, the city of Seattle has launched a waste war. Nine full-time solid waste inspectors have been hired. Additionally, contracted haulers have been effectively deputized as trash police, given the power to tag bins when people fail to recycle and compost enough. Kelly Carinder got tagged two weeks in a row, an offense that could soon bring a fine. I understand people have noble goals, but at some point we have to say, you can't violate my rights to achieve this noble goal. Carinder is among 14,000 residential and commercial customers this year to get tagged, warning them that over 10% of their trash content should have been recycled or put into compost bins. She and several other so-called landfill scoff laws have sued the city, claiming an invasion of privacy. And while the U.S. Supreme Court has ruled garbage is not protected under the Fourth Amendment of the Constitution, privacy is more guaranteed in the Evergreen State. But the Supreme Court of Washington went the other direction and said our state constitution is stronger, provides a better protection, and we believe that people still expect that their garbage is going to be protected from prying eyes. Even though this issue affects everyone in Seattle, city officials will do no trash talking. All declined our request for an interview, instead relying on a statement from the city attorney, who says the policy upholds the state constitution and civil liberties because, quote, there is no intention of looking into trash bags and can Containers will only be tagged if the contamination is clearly visible. The mandatory composting ordinance calls for fines ranging from $1 to $50 starting January 1st. There is no appeal process. The garbage police are also judge and jury. In Seattle, Dan Springer, Fox News. The rise and dominance of the outsider, Donald Trump, Ben Carson, while Bernie Sanders continues to surge as well. The panel joins me next.